Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo 980 run on one of this week's nightmare hunts. This is Scoreless. It's a flawless solo. Uh, we're doing it on the Warlock. Top tree, Nova. Uh, grenade. We really need that grenade. Now, all, all modifiers have been on the screen. All weapons will be on the screen. So it's kind of a fast and furious run. So I'll, I'll try and give you some extra information before we start. Each area that you need to go through, we don't really have to bother about any barrier champions. We won't be taking any barrier champions out. So in the first area, you've got two nightmare. Uh, they either be dregs or shanks you've got to take out. I think in this instance, I had dregs. So I go up this right hand side so I can stay away from all the ads and just clear out as much as I can, make my progress into the next area. A little bit easier now I am throwing grenades if you can clear additional ads then that's always going to help your your case because you don't have to worry about being shot from behind when you're trying to run through all this because we don't want to kill all these ads we just want to get to the you know that this is the entree this is the start we want to get to the meat of the this meal in the next area, so I'll just speak a little bit about the next area because when we get to the boss room and things are going to be hectic, so I don't want to be behind on what I'm trying to tell you guys. I want to be in front. So once we once we clear these two nightmares, we're going to push up. We don't have to kill anything else. We're going to push up. I'm using Blink. Every character can can do, even though I'm doing it on the wall, like every character can kind of has little 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 things that they can use that will make up for the obvious advantage that the warlock gives so the hunter can go invisible and has tether and has orpheus rig which will really help at the boss and the titan if the titan's got multiple things at, at, at his disposal solar damage is preferred that you take more solar damage so i'm i take it that you you give more solar damage i also have as you've seen at the start i've got supreme mods all three of the supreme mods i'm not sure if there are any more supreme mods but once we take these two nightmares then we're going to push up now one thing one thing you should be aware of is you're nearly always going to have two or three at a time nightmares every time so when the boss brings out another wave or when you get to a new area it's going to be a couple of nightmares now you you pick up this orb from the nightmares when you down one you pick up an orb that orb it gives you uh a massive damage increase against nightmares so if you do come up against two or three you'll see me do it during the run i'll try and take one down and utilize the damage increase from that orb uh from that buff i think the buff lasts for 15 seconds so as you can see we we took down the first two ads we've made it through there, there's some there's some trash ads here that we've got to take down and then there's two nightmares so what we're going to do is we're going to one's going to push us and one's going to sit back this will always be the case and you won't always get you won't always get the, the same ads you won't always get uh these kind of wretches or you know it could either be these it could be drag it could be it's normally wretches or uh it's normally wretches or um uh, uh, what do you call them? <laughs> I can't even remember the name of them. I dislike them that much that I've erased the name from my memory. Uh, shanks. The shanks are a nightmare in this. They're, they're, they're honestly like turrets. So this is where... So we've took out those ads. We took, as you've seen how fast, once you've got the orb, how fast the nightmares go down. Now, what we're going to deal with here is unstoppables. These are the only champions you've got to deal with in this whole run. So... My scout rifle has unstoppable, and as you can see, my grenade launcher really does a good job against against most of the ads actually. And that's because if you if you, if you paid attention and you've seen all the, the mods, if you didn't, I'll explain. But if you've seen all the mods, you'll know that I have a full court on this grenade launcher. I've used it before in runs. It's a very 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 good grenade launcher. Probably the highest DPS you can do with a grenade launcher in the game at the moment, because it's got spike grenades as well and a boss spec. So, you know, it's got basically three three damage modifiers for bosses. Well, for anything, really. The spike needs are direct hits. Full court, as you do more damage, the further you are away from the, the, the enemy. 
and obviously boss picks bosses. So you can see when we came in here, I focused on stunning the first unstoppable and then putting damage on them. And then there's gonna, you're going to have some, again, trash mobs, trash ads. More than likely, they're going to be acolytes. Take them out. Don't push into the room while you've still got stuff in such close proximity. Then you've got three shanks up at, up, up at the top, right at the back, above where I'm shooting now. You'll see the one on just to the top left of where I was just shooting. Take them out. I've left one up because I literally just forgot about it. Uh, take them out so that you can move freely without getting that kind of ranged fire. But there are a couple of void shielded enemies in this in this nightmare hunt. Literally, that is what our our grenades for. So very easy to take the take this the one in this room out because he's he'll always be in either in that right corner or he'll be he'll either be here or he'll be just to the the right of where we're going now now i came up because i wanted that orb because i was going to go and push the other nightmares i would not suggest to do that as you can see i got it for no reason there are three nightmares in this room I used this area to push forward because it's got a decent amount of uh, cover. We've got another un we've got another unstoppable. There's, there was two in here. There you go. The, the snipers don't take a lot to put down, but whilst there are unstoppables up, that's your objective. If you can take down another ad from range, brilliant. Now what I was trying to do here was these two these two wretches just. They, they kept running away from cover so you'll see me go to the back trying to get a long range shot on them because you really do take a lot of damage from these ads you really take a lot of damage so you it makes little to no sense to push because they will just they'll just melt you because they're obviously team shotting you it's almost like it's almost like they play clash but uh what i'm trying to do here is i'm not hiding or in, well i am kind of i'm trying to get the knight and the wretches to fight each other take their focus off me because the wretches will push the knight they didn't do it so i'll attack from here you know i'm gonna put a little bit of heavy down not much because i want to keep heavy for the boss so that, that's basically what i'm doing now i'm just taking these two wretches out hopefully being able to utilize one of them dropping an orb it, it didn't it didn't work out that way because they were both really low. So I'm going to speak a little bit about the boss fight. While whilst you're seeing me finish this off. Because as I say it's kind of fast and furious in the boss fight. This is like a defensive boxing match. Where you're just going to stick and move. Stick and move. You're going to move around. You, there, there is no stand here. Shoot the boss. You'll be fine. There is none of that in this room. The boss teleports to 99.9% .9 of the room. There is nowhere you can go in this room bar one place where the boss will not teleport right next to you. The ads will push the other place that you can go to get away from the boss. So, rather than be reactive in this room and just run away from ads and, you know, try and stay alive and just, you know, you have to get the ads to follow you so you can predict their, their patterns. So, as you can see, the ads have come in. There is, there'll always be, in every wave of ads, there'll be a Void Sever. That is what your your grenade's for. So what you're going to do, that that kind of uh, balcony that we were just on, that's the only place where Scolas will not teleport to. He'll come after you everywhere else. But the ads will come up there. So what we're going to do is stick and move. We're going to go up here because this is our centre point. This is, this, is, this is the base. This is our base. We want the ads to come up here so that we know where they are so there you can see i'm not going to stand up i'm not going to go toe to toe you cannot go toe to toe with these ads so what i'm doing is i know where they are now so i'm going to move to the complete opposite side and get them to come there while they're coming i'll try and get shots off so as you can see this time um, the server is still up and because i had a grenade i just pushed the server but you'll see you'll see that i'm i'm not pushing the server and then trying to stand and have a fight just putting the grenade on i've got the controverse holds on which means i get increased uh grenade regeneration so you know the ads are coming so we'll just you know there's a bit of heavy i didn't anticipate the heavy ammo dropping 
So this is the area we're going to move between on top of the balcony to over here to back on top of the balcony. That's what you that is that's going to be our attack patterns. I'll just get this heavy. That'll be our, our attack patterns while the ads are up. Because what Scholas will do is when you're up here, he will teleport to below you, just there where that nightmare is. The merciless just is merciless. We're gonna use a grenade just because you'll see you see on the screen when you get kills with a grenade, when you do damage with a grenade, you get quite a bit of grenade energy back. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put some grenade launcher on the boss. And then once we've got half his health bar down, we're gonna hit him with the with the the super. And now I'm just gonna load up some heavy. There's a lot of solar shielded guys coming in. And then we get out of there. You've got to be quick with that. I would suggest, even if you had a grenade at that point, throw the grenade down and throw the grenade down and hit with, with your solar heavy. That's why we've got solar heavy. That's why we're using the merciless. And as you've seen there, the boss teleported right on top of you. You really can't stand anywhere for too long. Your objective, so that's kind of that's kind of the strategy. While the ads are up, stick and move, stick and move. Get the ads to follow you so you can be, you know, they, they become more predictable if you know exactly where they are. You can control the ads, which is, is the staple of, you know, nearly every piece of PvE solo content you're going to do. It's about controlling the area, about controlling the ads, being one step in front of them instead of reacting to them because reacting is normally when it's normally when you die. So you know where they're coming, you know they're going to be following you. So you've got two points of reference, which is here and then over the other side, exact opposite air end of the the room from here, and they will they will follow you, which you get out of there when they get there. When the boss comes up, he'll be below you. You want to get take a bit of health off him first. I mean, obviously the first time you'll have your super, so that's going to be the plan, is to get about half his health bar down, and then hit him with the, the super, which as you see takes. About a health bar off him, almost a health bar. Preempting the the ads coming, so you do. You are going to be tempted to stand, and juke it out with those those shanks. Don't they literally? As I've said already, they're like turrets. So don't risk it. Seriously, just keep moving. Bring the the health down gradually, but follow the plan. That that's the idea is you want you want your plan in any piece of PV content to be predictable to you. You want to understand what you're doing and know that as you execute it, it's working. I'm going to charge a grenade now and just back away because as you can see, I've put I've put down the rift. The they were both pretty low. The grenade was killing them, and I don't know. You probably did notice that there straight away. Uh, we put that much damage on him. We went straight into his next, his next phase. So that's fine for us. We, we, we'll, we'll just follow the same strategy we were doing before. We'll move between the two areas, putting shots over on the ads that are following us, whittling down their, their, their health. It keeps you safe. It keeps you hard to kill. And it's very predictable for yourself. You know exactly what you're doing. And that's, that's half the battle, having a plan. Now, Weapon selection. I obviously went. I obviously went for the merciless because it's solar. I have the catalyst, so it's got you know it's got more range and it's got mass stability, which helps with the range. It's not the only thing you could use. I would. I would even. I would even go so far as to say you could probably use a solar shotgun, last man standing, something like that. As you, uh, that's perfect. That's perfect for that to happen in the video right there, because as I've said. He will teleport right on top of you, and you've seen it there in the video. So stick and move. Try and get you got if you if if you're on the warlock, it doesn't really matter if you're not on the warlock. You you can tailor your character to suit yourself. The strategy won't change regardless of what character you're using. I don't think anyway. I tried a sword to start with. I had a different weapon set up. It wasn't working for me. I felt as if I was sluggish and I was dying at the same time. As I was doing damage. So this loadout allowed me to move. Attack from range. Attack hard. And stay alive. 
So every time I'm looking to take down this server because the reason why I place so much kind of uh, priority uh, towards the server is obviously the server will will he'll shield the shanks, but the shanks even when when they're not shielded, uh, if you're damaging the server, then the shanks won't be shielded. You know the server kind of kind of goes a bit selfish at that moment. It's like sorry, I can't shield you. I need to save myself. But the shanks will still hide behind the server, which kind of you know it's not it's not helpful for you because if it can't put shots on them, right? So we're going to do the same thing again. What we done was we waited a little bit. Those shanks came up and they went straight into the grenade. Now, because they're tanky, you know, it's a 980. Unless you're still there, it's not enough to kill them. You know, we'll just hop across here. But as you'll see when, when we get a view of them, they've got nothing. And that's the position you want to be in. You know? You want to, as you can see, even just from getting a little a little look at them, a little look at the, the shank, just getting that little look, he almost killed me. So, same thing again. What we're going to do is we're going to get a look at this Nightmare Boss. We'll put a couple of shots on him, and then we're going to pop Super, which nearly killed me. If I'd have had... Now, I would suggest to you guys, at that point, just clear out some of those solar solar ads. At that point, when you fire your super, I'd make sure you've got some grenade launcher, your uh, grenade launcher, uh, a magazine loaded of grenade launcher. Fire your super and just put a couple of grenade launchers in at the same time. You would have killed them. Now, what we've got to contend with, we still have two nightmares. We still have a server, but now the ads aren't going to stop coming. The boss will be available to fire at again. Once you kill the nightmare bosses, no, the, the the nightmare enemies, no different from you know normal. The difference is that the ads won't stop coming. The nightmares will. Once you kill those two nightmares, that's it. So the idea now is, you you've got a very focused, very focused idea. You want to keep a clip or your grenade launcher loaded because as soon as those nightmares go go down, and they will go down up here, as soon as they go down. You're gonna make it, you know, that'll free up the nightmare boss. It'll bring him back to if you if you want to look at this, it'll bring it back to our reality. And as soon as he's back, you want to be ready to hit him with a full clip of grenade launcher just to make sure he's dead. And that is the run, guys. That that's you'll see here. We're just trying to whittle the whittle the health down on the the nightmares. The shanks is so bad. Uh. Here you can get the shanks. You can get, uh, you can get, uh, kind of, wen uh, wenches, wenches, wretches, wenches. You can get some wenches as well. To be fair, if you want here, but you can get wretches, and you can get uh, the smaller dudes. That the names have just disappeared out of my head. Again, I raised them because I don't like them. So. You can get uh, you can get three different types of nightmare nightmare enemy here. It's it's the shanks are the ones that are, will kill you the fastest. The other the other two they're they're more melee kind of attacks. The shanks have just got like Gatling guns, and they just come at you and team shot you and n no respect at all. So, and as you can see, the merciless really does a job here. So what we want to do is. We've got our grenade, but we don't care. Grenade launcher. And there you go, that's it. That's the run. Once those nightmare bosses are down, nightmare enemies are down, you can kill the boss. And that's your run done. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Take it easy, guys. I'll see you in the next video.